Hi everyone, it's Kelly. Thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And today I'm in a video hop with some very talented friends. We have an amazing theme of what's old is new again. I will link to them in the description box below so you can check out everyone's videos and such a fun idea to go through your supplies, dig through those stamps, dies, and all of your products, bring out what you've long forgotten about, dust it off, and give it some new love. You know there's some things in there <laughs> that I've long forgotten that I even have. So this is always a very fun theme. So my friends, I'm going to share with you the stamps and dies that I used, all of the supplies, a completed card, and then we'll finish part of one together. So here we go. I used Simon Says Stamps, and this is a gorgeous floral set. I absolutely love this stamp set. And this is from the Wayback Days. This is called the Daisy Bouquet, and it is from Simon Says Stamps. Love this large floral. This is really versatile. You can use the single one. You can use that large cluster, make a whole bunch. And I really love those sentiments as well. It does have some matching dies, which comes in handy. And I believe this is from, yes, September 2020. So this has been on the market for a good little while, oh my goodness it is a classic i love it it's elegant it's beautiful you can make birthday cards sympathy cards thinking of you cards wedding cards birthdays this is a good one so let me show you first the completed card here is card number one and i do have to say in all transparency <laughs> this is not my favorite it didn't quite turn out as I had hoped that it would, but I still wanted to share it because that's a really important thing to learn when you're doing any type of art, creating, paper crafting, card making, is that sometimes things are going to go a little sideways from what your plans are, and that's okay. You just kind of make it work the best that you can. So that's what we're going to do here and how I'm going to show you how I fix this. This is that gorgeous floral which I adore. I did use a watercolor background and just stamped right on it, die cut it out with that matching die, and I put it on some paper that was already done so that gorgeous gold, that flicked little uh, design splatter was already done for me. And that was by using this one here by Momenta. And this is a Mm, Hobby Lobby, that's where it came from. I was trying to remember where I got this from. So it is an absolutely stunning, oh, look at that black and that dark gray, it's just gorgeous. So some of these are just like faux watercolor. Some of them have splatter of gold, some have silver. Just really beautiful, that, that gold one. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So you can see here, you just grab one of these and the work is already done for you. Just like if you saw my last video on what I found at the thrift store, I found some construction paper that had a marble through it that was already done for me. So see, sometimes those come in handy. They're really, really fun. So that gold splatter really came into my favor. I loved the way that it looked. I thought it was a great match to the beautiful florals. And here's where it went wrong if you haven't already seen it. Right there. <laughs> as you can see, that gold, as gorgeous as it is, also blocked the stamp from going through. And it was too late. I had already done it. I should have probably done it with some heat embossed sentiment with some um, beautiful embossing powder. But it was already done. It was already on there. And I could not take this back off. Watercolor is gorgeous. It looks beautiful, but it's very finicky. So if you ever try to move a watercolor piece of paper, you've just ruined your entire project. It doesn't come back off. So this is the card. I thought about maybe putting a little, you know, and stamp another one out and put it on top of a little banner, but it is what it is. I'm just going to leave it and we're just going to roll with it. Now this gorgeous little set of jemmies are from Paint Fresh Studio. I thought I would add you know, gold to the gold <laughs> just to give it a little extra something something. And so that is card number one. For the second one, I thought we could build part of this together. I did have to do some stamping off camera because this is actually take number two of this video and I had already stamped it out. So there you go. It is this one right up in the corner. Is that not amazing? Love you more each day. Ah. Oh my heart. I really, really love that. So I did already stamp it out. And this one 
is going to be in tones of purple. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of adhesive on this one, build the base of this card, and then I'll show you the other floral that I used, and it's not the same as the one that's over here. And I think that this one's gonna be so cute. It's definitely in the cool tones. This one has some purples and some blues, and the other one is total rainbow. So that is not straight. Okay, let me try this again. Have like a two second window to get this right. If you see my head, I apologize. I am gonna try and do this one more time and that's it. <laughs> so that's gonna be the first layer. And again, just gonna add some adhesive. You know me by now. I'm not picky about my adhesive. I use glue, I use um, Tombow, I will use a liquid glue, whatever I have on hand, whatever is the least expensive. I don't mind buying my adhesive uh, in bulk and then just keeping it on hand. Okay, this is my toxic trait <laughs> of card making is I can't line anything up for anything. I just cannot line anything up. Oh my goodness. Look at that! That's not even anywhere close. So that's why a lot of times on camera I will already have this done. I won't even bother doing this part. <laughs> but let's give this a try. So one more time. And I really wanted to give this an accent of black for the border because I thought that would really bring out the sentiment, like just kind of make it pop. So there you go, my friends, that is the base. Now for this one, I decided to use the single stem and then the little daisy off to the side. So it does look like this. If you look at these colors here, these are more in tones of like a teal and there is a slight little bit of purple right up in this corner. It's very hard to see. You can see a little bit more on this one. In the camera, it looks like it's all one color, but I promise in real life, it looks so vibrant and it is just beautiful. So I think this is the right way. I did make a little mark there because on the first time around, I had this exactly where it was supposed to be. So I think I'm gonna double it up like that. I wanted this to be peeking out a little bit, but also tucked underneath just a little bit. So because this is up on foam, this one's up on double foam because I need it to be on top of this one here. Hopefully that makes sense. And just gonna take off these little stickies. After every card, I clean my desk and the floor. After every card. If I wait until the second or third card, oh my goodness, the amount of stuff on my floor. I would not be able to tolerate that very well. So I'm gonna layer this one right on the top so that it's kind of like a nice flow. And because this is such a large sentiment, I decided to use the single one on the sides. Otherwise, this would not fit. This big old floral actually takes up the entire card front. So for this one, I'm going to just go ahead and use that large one with that single floral there. I'm not gonna put the gold jemmies on this one because they're gold. I need to pick up a pair in, um, silver that would be really pretty and uh, if I'd had silver I definitely would add them on I can always add those later I at least wanted to show you how I completed this card well we completed this card and I will stamp on the back and add something to the inside as well so there you go my friends using the September 2020 Simon Says Stamp love you more each day celebrating happy get well you are loved and then hello there <laughs> these are the two cards hopefully you like them and they inspire you to create as well and if they do leave me a comment below all you need my friends some stamps some dyes your old supplies dust them off bring them out and tell them you love them all over again make sure you check out my talented friends in this hop as well they'll be listed right here below they are amazing they'll definitely inspire you and that's going to be it for this one my friends thanks so much for watching stay tuned for another video coming up soon and i'll see you then thanks for watching Bye bye